Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes you're dropping down lines, opening up your lives towards me and other people in the community. Just to let you know, they are not alone. And so with that being said, I'm so greatly appreciated. So... Much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life. So, and if the video has gave you some good information or just put you in a good place, go ahead and pass it to the next person that you think that might need it. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you're able to resonate with whatever is in my video. And the music I'm listening to today, oh my goodness, I got hair scratching my nose. It's like a little piece of hair. Um, relaxing heart music, stress relief, sleep meditation, spa, instrumental background music, star 53. I will post that link in the description box below. And it is peaceful. I like the little, you know, the, the heart. It's just so, I don't know why I always love hearts. But yes, my video today is about Twin Flame 101 Empaths. Don't block your blessings dealing with toxic people. Don't block your blessings dealing with toxic people. You know when you are on your journey and you know you're on a, something good. That devil will get busy with y'all so quick. Oh my God, especially me too. It's like when I'm trying to do the right thing, it just seems like people from my past keeps popping up. <laughs> hey, girl, how you doing? I'm like, ooh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. When you on that path, keep those folks out your, keep them out your business, keep them out your life, just even keep them out your energy. Because I'm telling you, it's just like people with loving with limitations. That's toxic. That is toxic. I said we're on this thing to positivity, being a better person, just be creating a better atmosphere for ourselves, especially if you've been going through stuff and, you know, you're trying to get on that next level. You're trying to get on that next step song. And it would be like the devil will bring people in our lives, especially people from our past, people we tend to let go of. They keep popping up, coming back, because they know we're on to something. Whether or not you got something going on in your life or anything, but obviously towards the universe is something. You know, you might not know what it is. You, you don't know. You don't know exactly where your path is leading you, but your higher self knows. Because there's probably some times that you probably have experienced things that it seems like deja vu. Like I'm going through this. I've done this before. Like with my situation. I felt like this is not my first time doing this. Like, I knew I was about to go through this. Because there's days I will get visions and or I'll get a feeling like, I've dealt with this before. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just like I've dealt with this before. So when you are on your journey and you're on that path towards things, when it comes to spouses, even boyfriends or girlfriends, co-workers, you know, so-called friends, them frenemies, them acquaintances, if they, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're like, you know, like, I don't want to say that word cock blocker, but it's like a blessing blocker. You know, they got always got something blocking something. So it's just like when you have these things. You know, they're, they're blocking, you know, the things that need to come in your life. And half of the time, when people see it, they see that in you. So they will do it for your, they will do it for you. They will do it for you. They will try to block your blessings for you. If you go, anybody going to be blocking blessings, it should be your own self. And then you got to give your own self that pep talk. <laughs> you know, you got to give your own self that pep talk. So, you know, it's just like when you go through things. Pay attention to those signs. You know, I tell y'all all the time, pay attention to those signs. I've told people before, I don't like loving people. I don't like, uh, not like loving people, but I don't like loving people that has limitations. I don't like them loving me. Because if anything has limitations on it, I don't want it. I don't want it. You know, you know, if it's boundaries or something, that's a whole different story. 
But when it comes to your blessings, pay attention. Please pay attention. You keep them, you know, like them Clyde's Dells that got them little, you know, the little things on their face. You know, to keep going straight. So you keep going straight. Don't pay attention to the person on the right of you. Don't pay attention to the left side of you. You keep going towards what you need to go towards. Because them people going to always be there. Because I told y'all before, when you deal with people that don't see visions for themselves, don't see dreams for themselves, they give up because it's too hard. You know, it's, they don't have to give up too much stuff. They don't have to surrender too much stuff. That's fine. You want The next person want to go ahead and do that, you go right ahead, baby, because you are not blocking my blessings. You know, you'll get these text messages. Hey, I miss you. It could be it could be an ex. Hey, I love you. No, you were ex for a reason. <laughs> you were taken out of my life for a reason. So stop trying to come back because I'm not going to open that door. When misery starts knocking at your door, don't you answer that. Oh, gosh, please don't. Do not answer that. So you just keep moving. You keep your eyes on your prize. Do what you need to do. The right people that need to come in your life will be there. Don't go chasing after somebody. If God don't wipe them out your life, don't go back to them. Especially when you start getting all them spiders, you know, those spider senses and your empathic, you know, your empathic, whatever they want to call it, vibes or whatever juju we get when, it, when we deal with certain people. And it's just like, you know, when we get around certain people, we know they're not right. Especially when you're an empath, you'll get stuttered on your words. You might even say stuff wrong like, God, no. You know, because there's days that I know I'm, I'm doing my videos and I can feel the energy coming towards me because, you know, I'll start messing up some words. I'm like, gosh, I'll get positivity and possibility mixed up. <laughs> you know, we all make accidents, but when you're around toxic people, you can feel the energy. You can feel it. Even if you really can't feel it, you'll just know by just the words you're talking you know what kind of energy they giving off? Are they giving you something to where you need to just go bolt? Because I got around my parents, you know, when, when not even my parents. I call them the folks up the street. You know, when I used to go to their house, I used to get them bad juju vibes, bad juju vibes. Like, oh my gosh, what am I going through? And why do I, why the heck do I feel like running up out of this house? Now I knew why. And it's bad, you know, when I had uh, one of my daughters tell me the same thing. It's just like, Mom, you know, I get ready to go visit them and I wanted to go visit them, but it's just like something will make me want to go bolt the other way. And I say, well, that's a reason. There's a reason for that, you know, so it's just crazy. So when you're going on your journey, keep those people that are blocking your blessings away, especially if it's somebody that even if you love, if you notice that your life has not moved a bit, it could be the company you keep in. So watch out for those people now. And I hope you were able to get something out of that, you know, out of my content. But, you know, when we're on our journey, you know, you have so many beautiful blessings coming your way. Because, you know, it is, we're, we're heading towards something great. You're heading towards something great. And we're all heading towards something great. But it's so many negative things out there that's trying to block us from that. So please pay attention to people that you keep in your life and i hope you were able to resonate with the video once again but it's just like when someone wants to come out hey it comes out so um i hope everybody has a blessed week the week's almost over with it's almost, well by the time you see this it'll be friday because today's thursday while i'm filming it but i hope y'all have a blessed weekend get turned up if you turn up you know um just just be safe just be safe and stay blessed. You know, if you can send some positivity to somebody else, go ahead and send that positivity to somebody else. But make sure you keep them folks out your life to be blocking them blessings, okay? Y'all see, I got me a new hairdo. I got me a little Justin Bieber thing going on. It was just too hot outside to be sitting up here doing all this extra stuff to, to it. So I just, you know, switched it up a little bit. So I thought it was kind of cute. But you know, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so I know when you're gonna up when I'm, when you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up, and you know, drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And know that you are blessed and highly favored and you're always truly loved. And know there's somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.